Hey guys, Reza here from Budget Audio Chrono. Today I'll be bringing you the KZDQ6S. All right, this is the latest one from KZ. It's been uh, making its rounds on all the different audio groups and uh, here's my impressions of it. All right, a quick disclaimer. I received the KZDQ6S, DQ6S from KZ Acoustics as a review sample for an honest opinion. So you might call this a sponsored or promotion video. I receive no money for this video, neither do I receive any money for the future sales of this product here. I just received this uh, pair of earphones for free from KZ to give my honest opinion to you guys. All right. Okay, cool. The KZ DQ6S checks all the boxes for my personal use case scenario and sound preference. So I'm going to keep this uh, review short and precise and concise. And the DQ6S does almost everything right within the budget. Okay. So before we begin, um, I'm just going to sh quickly show you the box. It's a very simple packaging um, very spartan in its uh, accessories what you see is what you get nothing extra there's no carrying case um, you have two more pieces of the small and medium ear tips as provided here a quick one on the ear tips the ear tips are very similar to the KZ Starline tips which um, has those ridges at the ear tips but these feel a lot thinner than the white ones that came with the EDX. So slightly different texture and probably a material. Something is different here. It's, it feels similar to the BGVP VG4 Art Magic tips on this one. Okay. So again, in terms of uh, packaging, very simple, uh, almost like the CCA CRA, although these guys uh, cost a little bit more. I think they're about US $31, Singapore $40, $42 or so for this guy. Okay. And my uh, sound preferences, my listening uh, preferences are all in the description below. Okay. So you guys can have a look at it. I travel a lot by the subway, by the train and um, isolation is key in most of my earphone pieces here. And bass has to be a little bit more boosted because it needs to overcome the droning sounds of the train underground. All right. In terms of audio chain, okay, audio chain, I have been using a lot uh, of this guy here, the Fozzy Audio NM N2, sorry, the Fozzy Audio N2, and the J Kelly JM20. Either I use the dongle in isolation or paired together with the amp, okay? So the reason I use amp is because I do get this uh, very fine control with the volume port versus the Vivo X60 Pro. I cannot control the volume step. It's only 15 volume steps. So from one volume to the next, it may jump to something suddenly quite loud and I don't quite like it. Also with a little bit more power, I get to enjoy my music a bit better. It drives headphones or earphones just a little bit better. Better. All right, we'll get to that a little bit later in the video. For those in the loop of this uh, earphones in a chi-fi world, we'll know that the DQ6S is co-tuned with uh, Beggar, B-G-G-A-R, all right. Okay, bad guy, good guy, audio reviews, all right. And um, he is a super well-known YouTube reviewer. And with that, we'll understand what sort of uh, music library that he listens to. And therefore, that will be the guiding sound preference for the tuning and I'll cut straight to the point and say that the DQ6S is well suited for rock and roll, uh, not rock and roll but you know rock and heavy metal music and uh, less so for vocal centric uh, typically jazz vocals okay so either female jazz vocals or male jazz vocals these are not so well suited but they perform super well on rock bands especially 80s rock bands i just listened to quite a bit of uh, 80s rock bands like from uh, journey um, even uh, you know, especially Journey, I, I, I took a liking to Journey and I listened to Scorpions, um, I listened to a lot of guitar stuff and uh, this guy performs very well with a lot of bands that has got to do with uh, electric guitars, okay? Um, usually I will start the review with uh, sound, but this one I, I have to say something about the comfort. It's one of those rare IEMs that will just easily plop into my ears and create a great seal, all right? And um, it's there's no fussing around and straight, straight away immediately comfortable. Um, very much similar to the CCACRA. I like how uh, they've designed these shells in a similar manner because this, this just work for my ears here. 
Okay, so um, some may say that the nozzle on the uh, DQ6S can be a bit long, but somehow it works for me. It doesn't uh, protrude on my ears too much and gives a uh, fantastic seal. Also, um, I'll lump the cables here as well under comfort. I think uh, KZ did an amazing job this time around uh, reinventing the wheel in terms of cables. They've reverted back to something that we are very familiar with from the 80s and 90s in terms of earphone cables. Uh, these sort of cables where they're paired together and joined right down the middle. Um, overall, these cables are very, very comfortable. They are supple, yet they are not, um, you know, they are not a tangle tangle mess, they are actually tangle free. The moment you wind it and you open up, it just untangles super easily, especially if you tend to carry this around in a pouch or in your pocket. Uh, I like how this guy's uh, untangled very easily out of my pouch that I carry. Okay, cool. Let's hit straight to sound, okay? So it's boasting a triple, triple dynamic driver setup and I'm pleasantly surprised how coherent the sound is overall besides the slightly boxy, very nasally, uh, pinchy uh, vocal sound. So these guys, they are not tuned um, in any way that will help you enjoy Dino Crawl, even George Benson on those uh, jazz vocals that he does. Um, it's okay, but um, well suited for really rock. You know, ACDC, uh, Mr. Big, um, Journey and all that stuff. So these guys perform super well for rock. Um, I was expecting a harsh and overly sharp and pounding deep V bass type sound, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised that these guys sound very different from the e EDX. My only experience with KZ is the EDX and the EDX um, is, is a little harsh for my ears, okay? Um, coming down to bass, okay, it's got excellent sub-bass energy, just enough uh, mid-bass boom to give bass drums that kick and oomph and keep your, bob keep your head bobbing um, throughout the track, okay? Mids, again, um, everything else is good in terms of uh, guitars, violins, even cello work is pretty good. Um, again, the downside here is the slightly boxy, nasally uh, vocals overall. So I, I don't think, um, you know, you guys should buy this if your playlist has got a lot to do with uh, vocal type tracks, okay? All right, trebles, well extended highs for those shimmery cymbal crashes. Clear, crispy hi-hats. I like what these guys do for those hi-hats. Um, you can really enjoy those uh, drum solos and all that. These are fantastic for those drum solos. Imaging, I would describe the imaging of the DQ6S as very well articulated. I'm quite happy to, to say that um, this DQ6S has that great separation articulation of uh, instruments, the separation of instruments and you know you can hear a little bit of those uh, minute details in terms of the strumming, picking and everything else uh, from nylon string guitars, even uh, crowd cheering from the backgrounds you can pick exactly where in the sound stage that you can pick up the sounds of those uh, Im persons cheering in the background. Since I mentioned soundstage, uh, the soundstage is average, but overall very decent to enjoy again your rock and pop tracks. If you listen to a lot of live tracks, it's all right. The only slight uh, downside for this guy, it can be a downside. Bass is, uh, the mid bass is boosted a little bit more, slightly more than the CRA. Okay, so you do have a bit more of that mid bass bloom that can get just a wee bit muddy on slightly busier tracks, just slightly, very, very slightly. It will not hurt your listening experience. All right, timbre and tonality. Timbre is very natural for, natural enough for classical guitars and pianos to sound realistic and not steely, which is fantastic. Tone, I describe it as a well-tuned, very mild V-shape with a neutral warm sound. It's got an entertaining and engaging sound that doesn't come off as dry or overly analytical. So, you know, like Blonde BL-05S, to me, that's, uh, to me, it's already very analytical and I can't listen to that for a long time. Sounds too dry. Coming to overall value, the KZ DQ6S, all right, um, question would be, could KZ get this kind of sound signature on a single dynamic driver. I believe they could get this on a single dynamic driver. 
um, you know, just probably tuning the CRE a little bit better, a bit differently, you might get exact same sound. I don't know. That could have kept the budget a little bit lower. Um, but as it is right now, it is uh, adequate enough, but still remains in a very competitive uh, space in the current market. Accessories, as mentioned earlier on, very spartan for the price. Uh, I would have appreciated a simple cloth carrying case. All right, and uh, again, cables are great, and I like the new approach on these cables. I don't really know what's the cost of these cables here, but I think I would pay some good money for these cables, anywhere between you know five to you know ten dollars at max, uh, Singapore dollars, and I think these uh, would you know go a long way in my earphone collections. Overall, I give the DQ6S a 4 out of 5 stars at US $31. It's got a great sound for you to enjoy your favorite rock and pop bands. Although if your general playlists are vocal centric tracks, then the DQ6S might not be for you. So that's about it. Wrapping it up, I have enjoyed the DQ6S over the past 15 hours or so. And I think it is one that you could decide if you want a slight up great in the sound from the CRA you could go to the DQ6S just bear in mind that the, the difference is this the DQ6S has a bit um, bloomier B -L -O -O -M, bloomier bass that gives a bit more body to the sound the CRA is a little tighter and cleaner at the sub bass and mid bass a little thinner so the CRA can come off with a slightly um, uh, thinner overall sound but they are still pretty good in terms of imaging separation and sound stage so you know if you have $20 or slightly less than $20 CRA if you have about $30 then you might want to try the KZ DQ6S I would think um, aesthetics aside I think sound is the most important thing although the shell looks good and everything else I think what's most important is what's pumped through your ears and whether you can wear this thing in terms of its comfort for a couple of hours on. So far so good. I hope everybody's doing okay at the tail end of this uh, COVID pandemic. Enjoy your music, be safe and I'll see you for the next video.